This print shows an extraordinary monster that was being displayed in Piccadilly. An American showman called Albert Koch was charging a shilling a head to have a look at it. Professor Owen decided to investigate. He felt sure that something was wrong with it, but nonetheless, he was intrigued. And he bought it. When he'd got it back to his museum, he was able to examine it in detail. It was certainly gigantic and bigger than anything else he had in his museum at the time. Koch, the showman, had dug up the bones from a farmer's field in Missouri and maintained that in life the animal had stood nine meters long and almost five meters tall. There were claims that this was a fearsome predator that used its extraordinary tusks for stabbing its victims, presumably by swinging its head sideways. Well, I'm sure Professor Owen would have had something to say about that. He must have realized that these blunt, rounded ridges on these huge molar teeth would be very effective at grinding up twigs and fir cones and rough forest vegetation, but they lack the sharp blade that you need to slice through flesh. This is not the jaw of a carnivore. It soon became clear that Koch had increased the size of his monster skeleton by adding extra vertebrae, ribs, and even blocks of wood. The Missouri Leviathan was a fraud. So Owen removed all the extra bits. And then he put the real bones back together in their true form. Finally, he detached those astonishing tusks and put them back in the correct way. It seems obvious now, but in life, they had pointed in much the same direction as those of a modern elephant. And so, here today stands not Cox's Leviathan, but Owen's Mastodon, a vegetarian relative of the elephant that lived 12,000 years ago in North and Central America. It may have decreased a bit in size, but it's still an astonishing animal. <laughs>